Hello everyone, this is MJPW Gaming, and obviously you can tell by my voice, I am very, very excited to announce they are making a Five Nights at Freddy's film. This is extremely exciting, and it was sent to me by a friend. I will leave his link to his Twitter in the description. I apologize, I don't have it pulled up currently. <laughs> but I, I, I jumped out of my chair... I, I was so, 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 so happy to see that this was posted, and here is the main website that I see just right here, but there is obviously a lot of posts right now, the, <coughs> sorry, that uh, Warner Brothers has actually bought the rights to Five Nights at Freddy's, now, the thing is, I do not know if Scott Cawthon is actually still in the business of owning Five Nights at Freddy's but I seriously hope he does and I do really really hope he is still in this because without him how would everybody know the story that we all know why is that pulled up but <laughs> um, of course we can see Roy Lee self Seth Graham, Graham, Graham Smith and David Katzenberg will produce the adaptation. The feature adaptation will be produced by Roy Lee of Vertigo Entertainment as well as Seth Smith and David of Cat Smith Productions. The game takes place in Freddy Fazbear Pizza, a darker version of Chuck E. Cheese where the animatronics animal band perform kitty songs by day and goes to murderous rampage by night. The goal of the game is to survive night locked inside, knowing that a furry death machine might jump out of a dark at any moment. <laughs> Alright, we're looking forward to working with Scott to make the insane, terrifying, and weirdly adorable movie. <laughs> so, this of course confirms that they are having Cawthon with this, and I am very excited. I'm getting more and more excited just by reading each individual comment. The story really lends itself into being a movie, and it taps into a largely unexplored niche of horror that a lot of people will be able to relate to, says Colton. The project is currently out to writers. Adam Stone and Jay Ireland will... Ex will executive produce John Berg and Nick Marvick I'm sorry I can't read these are overseeing for Warners as in Warner Brothers and Lee was a producer on Warner's Liam Neeson action thriller Run All Night and as the Poltergeist remake to open May 22nd and um, well, that's about it for this post and I'm sure that's all that will be on the other post too but here's David he's worked for movies that's Hard Times of RJ Burger Beetlejuice good good movies here's movies with Seth Smith Abraham Lincoln Vampire Slayer Dark Shadows Beetlejuice Hard Times RJ Burger it seems like there's a continuation with these and this is what's kind of be funny the Lego movie run all night huh so that's the ones I know that's just by pulling up so it is definitely very 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 exciting right now and just to show you I don't yeah he hasn't updated his website oh <laughs> it is very very exciting and I'm getting notifications at the butt right now about this and if you are excited please subscribe and I will keep it up to date about this movie that's going to be coming out it was very unexpected but oh if I could get tickets to the premiere I will be there I will be there Scott Colton you can guarantee it so with that being said I'll see you in the next video goodbye